want to learn to cross a rock like Graham Jarvis. What I'll do is a nice gentle lift with the front there and then I'll give it a bit of clutch and throttle to drive the back wheel in. <laughs> so on one like this, would you sit your wheel on it more than you'd run your wheel into it? Yeah, that's it because if it's a log or something where it's a, or a step where it's got a bit of a curve on it, you've got more to aim for, but here you've got to be a little bit more precise. So you've got to touch it right on that. Kind of right on that yeah. front corner. If it's, too, if it's too low on this one, it's going to gonna dig in especially with the sand yeah so Hey there, Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here. As you can see, in this little clinic, Graham was nothing if not precise. He said he wanted to hit his front wheel right at the top of this because it was such a sharp edge, and he does that exactly in the, in the place that he wants to hit it, and he's able to get over, up over the obstacle. On this rock, watch how he compresses the suspension right there, and then he'll explode up and hit two-thirds of the way up the rock, and he just explodes that clutch up the thing to give him the drive upward. Watch again from this angle how deliberately he compresses the suspension and then how adept he is at controlling the revs with the clutch to get the front wheel to come up just a little bit, hit the rock right where he wants, and then explode the rest of the, the energy stored up in the motor with the clutch to just climb up the face of that rock. On this rock, Graham uses the exact same technique, just on a smaller obstacle. Quite nice rocks just to learn a little bit of technique on. So quite often, you want to carry the front wheel onto another rock. Or there might be just a little hole the other side, you want to carry the front wheel. So, it's all similar, you've got to think about where you're touching the front wheel, flexing the legs, etc. But what I'm going to do is, it's going to compress into that. I'm going to give it a good sharp flip. So, it's compressing, I'm going to pull on the front so I know the weight's on the back. But also, it's going to be rolling up here so I'm not gassing it on the rock. I'm prepping it before. Giving it a bit of gas before so it's rolling up. So it'll be gripping up the rock and I'm carrying the front. take a look at how the rest of us mere mortals get over this. Now a lot of us got over the rock fine, but we didn't have the clutch control where we were, we weren't compressing as well the suspension and we certainly didn't have the clutch control to, to get the bike to wheelie up a little bit and then explode up onto the rock. And this is a smaller rock, it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult, uh, but it was still intimidating. We had 24 guys there and not, not nearly all the guys actually did this because it was trying to put pieces together. This is me getting getting over it and the bike just doesn't sound anywhere near the way that Graham is doing it. Uh, so I know that there's a lot that I've got to work on as far as clutch control goes here. I had to show this one here. You can see that one of the big reasons to slam your tire into the obstacle is to get to the rear suspension to compress. You get the front forks to compress and compress the rear suspension. And then when you unload the rest of that energy in the clutch, the bike literally just launches up into the air. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful?
Left it quite down. early. <laughs> Left about here. Did you guys fly that rock in special for him? So do you do you try to hit about two thirds of the way up on, on yeah, a rock like this? Yeah, about two thirds is a general rule. But it's almost easy. You got quite a bit to aim for. It's not like the sh it's a sharp right angle. You got to be it up precise. Compress it in a little bit. Pay attention again to how he compresses that suspension and then controls the revs with the clutch to get the wheel to hit about two thirds of the way up and then really let the power of the bike go for just a second to get it to explode and then control the clutch again so you don't launch off the top of it. So now it's gonna be our turn. And this, what's so intimidating about this rock is there's not enough uh, there's not, it's not long enough on top where you can just ride it out. So here's Braden. He's the first one to try it. He goes oh, over the bars, but uh, kudos for trying it. Then we get Scott here. He will come and get right up on top, which is perfect. This is what I was going to try to do. Uh, Scott wasn't quite far enough to be there with, to stay on the, on the top of the rock without help. And then getting off the top of it, off the backside, this was the hardest part, or the scariest part, it's just over the bars. So then I taunt, uh, I taunt you, Brandon here and say, it's you. And Brandon adeptly gets right up on top of the rock and then trying to get off a little bit of over the bar action. Try and just wheel it over. Now Tyler is going to try his hand at this thing, and he gives the best shot of the day right here, and it comes back down. Now it's my turn as one of only about four guys out of 20, 24 guys that are going to try this thing, and I don't get up enough because I'm so scared about sending the bike into the stratosphere that I'm not hit. I don't hit the tire up far enough, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this thing up again. And you don't want to go launching over the other side, and you, you don't want to screw up too bad. You don't want to bust your bike, and you don't want to bust anything on you. Uh, and Graham is just saying, just you know, clutch a little bit sooner, get the get the bike up a little bit uh, higher uh, into that rock. And I'm going, okay, I think I can do this. And you're trying to psych yourself out to do it again. And here's my second attempt. Yeah. You're just playing that balancing game in your mind of being able to get enough momentum to get it up on top of the rock. And here's my third attempt. I'm just there, but I'm not quite in the place where I can get that thing to balance. So on my fourth attempt, I'm going, I'm going to get this thing over or I'm going to die trying. And I pound up on top and barely am not able to get it to stop on the top of the rock. And the bike lands on top of me. Uh, man, it was so intimidating with that thing because you couldn't, you wouldn't, you weren't going to be able to just ride it out on top. You had to kind of own the thing or go over the bars and get on top and be able to stop or go completely launching over the top. And man, we had a ton of fun. It was so fun to ride with Graham and to learn a little bit from him and uh, didn't get hurt. So it was, it was a good day.